Hello and welcome to Evil Genius 2 World Domination. So, to bring you up to speed, myself and my evil megalomaniac friend Max here have made a ton of gold in our quest to rule the world. Uh, we can spend all this gold however we want, it's only somehow 500 grand of gold. Although mathematically in the real world this is 14 billion pounds of gold, uh, we're not going to question the Evil Genius 2 economy though. But now that we have all this gold, and now that we have all of these honorable minions, we need to find something to do with them. So naturally, the first thing to do is to bribe a world government. Gotta put this gold to good use somewhere. But why bribe one world government when you can bribe two? Now for whatever reason, we had to research the staircase. The staircase is a revolutionary concept to my minions, and naturally it's taken all of nine in-game hours to acquire the staircase. But now that we have acquired the staircase, we can get a second floor. However, with all this new space, we're gonna have to expand our little prison since we keep kidnapping people. But we now have the Brainwasher 2000. It's used to brainwash our prisoners and cleanse them of troublesome thoughts. And I thought brainwashing our own minions was bad enough. That looks like one of the most unfriendly machines ever. Let's build it. So going back to my uh, evil world domination plan, it turns out you can't just bribe world governments to do whatever the heck you want. I know! Who thought? They have a conscience. Logically, the next step is to build something that kills them all instead. Uh, so, yippee. It's really their fault, you know. If they had just elected him, he wouldn't have murdered them all. I see no problems with his logic. Now, we've got this rather pointless Iris supercomputer, but we gave Iris legs and, you know, arms and a head and a brain, so I don't really think we need it anymore. Plus, it's fluorescent pink and really rather in the way. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Iris, but I'm gonna have to sell your older version. Well, I, I mean, when I say sell, you're not- you're so worthless that you're worth nothing. You cost nothing nothing and you'll be sold for nothing. You're trash. That's what you are. Now this is what they call the socialite trainer. It essentially trains these people to be celebrities uh, somehow. I'm not quite sure how, since the definition of a socialite is someone who's very popular and well known. Uh, the fact that we can whip them up in 30 seconds is quite revolutionary to be honest. It's almost like TikTok. Well it's time to research the doomsday device. What a cheery name eh? Despite your wealth, the world has shunned you. I could not think of any possible reason why eh? It's time for the doomsday device research. It is the doomsday device. That doesn't sound very friendly. What exactly does this doomsday device do? Well, okay, it brings doomsday, but you know how? <laughs> now, everyone's very hungry. I'm not sure why we do have a very large canteen. However, if we don't feed our minions, their smarts drop low. And to summarize what smarts are, they're essentially our brainwashing. And so, if someone's smarts drops dangerously low, they start to doubt our power, uh, we have to brainwash them again with this very safe looking device. And I don't want to have to brainwash my people in extreme ways, so I I'd rather feed them. Macaroni and cheese is better than brainwashing any day. So, we've got to extend our canteen. Uh, it does involve getting rid of a security room, but I, I don't think that'll be a problem. Who needs security anyway? Us, probably, but you know. Who cares? You know, I think they'll love to sit by a barrel of chemical waste while they eat. That seems like a, a lovely little scenic thing to add. Right beside the drinking fountain. No problems with that whatsoever. I do love to treat my minions well, and this is a very sweet treat. We do, however, have some innovation on the re-education front. Out goes the re-education chair, and in comes the four-way re-education chair. Why re-educate yourself alone when you can re-educate yourself with friends? Insert brainwash instead of re-educate and you kind of get the gist of things. I mean, what looks wrong with that? It's not like he's being electrocuted and tortured. That's not the case at all. No, no, no. What's worse, I'd like to point out, is they do all this optionally. They come in here on their own, no one's forcing them, and they sit down and they do all the mind control stuff, willingly, without question. And alongside all that, we have the learning lamp, which, um, you lie down on and it squirts green goo on you. I'm not making this stuff up. I do, however, miss the good old re-education chair. Stick with what works, that's what I say. We have it, we've researched the doomsday device, otherwise known as the MIDAS machine. It is a device that can turn anything to gold. Hey, so I can just turn anything to gold? Anyone as well? Can I just goldify people? So we're now working towards a machine that can turn anything it sees into gold. This game just gets better and better. Also, ignore all the dead bodies. There was, you know, a bit, a bit of an altercation in the prison uh, for, for a while. This, this is a really intimidating sight as you walk into the evil lair for the entrance. It's just dead bodies and bags everywhere. You have to step over them. They're just piled up. It's ridiculous. They can't even close the doors anymore. Nothing the good old incinerator can't solve, eh? Not only does Max like gold, though, he likes some special items. He likes the rare items you find around the world. The kind of items you would place in a museum were you a non-evil individual. Items such as a meteor. Max has decreed that we must steal this meteor from, 
you know, somewhere in Canada, or is that Alaska? Maybe I'm not too sure. I mean, my geography is kind of bad anyway. Astonishingly, stealing a meteor only takes us two minutes. We've really got that down to a, a T, really, after all the bank robbing. And just like that, we've stolen a meteor. This, this kind of seems rather pointless, to be honest. It looks cool as heck, but incredibly pointless towards the main goal. Hello, hello, hello. What's this inside my gold vault? Planted evidence. This has Agent X's fingerprints all over it. Who the heck is Agent X? There he is. There's Agent X. He's got his little blue top hat and all that. We're meant to invite Agent X to our lair. He'll take some time to investigate, and he might try to build a team. Like, to, to fight me or to help me fight them? I'm kind of confused. Is he working for me or working against me? Why are we inviting him? This Agent X looks suspiciously like a Captain America with a jacket on. I have always wondered why we've got this big, huge, massive hole in the middle of our island. It turns out it's for this machine, the Midas machine, the doomsday weapon of all things, is perfectly suited to sit inside this little hole. It does look rather interesting. It would appear we've built it out of gold, pouring liquid gold into more liquid gold. If that doesn't say I'm incredibly rich, then I don't know what else does. Agent Deck is yet to appear and collect his evidence, so I've no idea where he's gone. Where is he? Hey, 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 it's the dude. It's the Agent X guy. He's here, and, he, and he's speaking to us. Uh, we could kill him right now. Oh, he thinks he knows the truth and he's gonna expose us. It's like Twitter. I've found him. There he is. It's Agent X. He's he's doing something. He's at my door. He's, he's so close to leaving. Like, he's right there. We've got to terminate him. And we're gonna put ourselves on high alert. He's very effective at murdering our employees. So, uh, Agent X just teleported. Um, okay. It would appear we have to test the world-breaking doomsday device before actually unleashing the doomsday device. The first step in any doomsday device is to deliver a rousing speech to your minions, or lack thereof, it would appear in this case. He's just shouting at thin air. I'm sure Max is having a lot of fun. Now all we have to do is test the device at level 1, 2, and 3, and hope it doesn't explode. Let's pick a country, any country, the UK, why not? It's five seconds left, what's gonna happen? Oh, crikey, nothing, all that. Impressive, to be honest. Oh, that's more impressive, for oh, oh, okay, what does that do? Nothing, it would appear. Very, very doomsday-esque device, I can tell. I get the point of the doomsday device. We shot it at the UK, and now everyone's canned coffee's turned to gold, and we get 250 grand worth of gold. You know how that machine was meant to turn everything to gold, right? It would appear to have turned all of our employees and uh, minions to gold. Uh, solid gold at that. They're, they're very dead. Very, very dead. Not too sure what to do about that one. You know what? Let's collect them all and put them in the room. That seems like my best idea here. I'm sure they'll be of use someday. There we go. Those minions will stay there happily ever after now. Frozen in time, frozen in gold forever and ever. Plus, we can sell them for, uh, I think, a five grand each as well. So they're really just a secondary gold fold of anything. It would appear at some point we stole the Declaration of Independence. I'm, I'm not too sure when, but we've got it now. <laughs> May as well hang it up on the wall. Why not? And this, whatever this is. And uh, a flying pig as well. Um, yes, I'm sure they were all very important at the time. Now, as with any evil individual, you need to control the media. You don't want them to be, you know, backstabbing your evil farce of a plan. How dare headlines say that you're a heartless criminal who robs banks? Yes, you do that, but you don't need everyone to know about you doing that. That destroys the point of world domination. So we're gonna have to spin the world's opinions in our favor. And that's where a spin doctor comes involved. Spin doctor's a bit of a weird term. Sounds awfully evil. I mean, really, come on, how dare the people of the world world have actual thoughts and feelings and personalities. That just hampers our plans. Oh man, alongside Agent X, we've got someone else. Wrecking Bola, some sort of saboteur. And there we have it, we've got ourselves a spin doctor. He doesn't look evil at all, rubbing his hands away like that, eh? Now I just can't get over the fact that we can put a chemical barrel, a barrel of chemical poison down in the cafeteria and none of them bat a bloody eye. This has to be one of the best things I've seen all week. Like we can just place them all the way along here. It, it's poison, and it's free poison at that. It doesn't cost me a single cent to put all this toxic nuclear waste all the way around their eating area. Wait a minute, there's an inferno raging on floor one. Where's this inferno? I don't see any inferno around here. Oh my word, there's the inferno. Oh no, 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 no. That, oh no, that's not good. That's our entire power supply, that is. That's that's not gonna end well at all. Our entire power supply is burning down. How the heck are we gonna put this out? All we've got is just one old little dude with a fire extinguisher. How is he gonna put out all of that? He's never gonna manage all that. We're absolutely buggered now. 
We're done for. Hold up. He's he's managed it. He's, he's nearly got it all out. He's done it all. They're all out. How has he managed that? That is that is a master class by him. Hello, hello, hello. I think we've found our culprit right here. This super saboteur of that wrecking ball that person. We're fighting her. Are we going to get her? Or can she do that magic teleportation thing like I did in X? Oh, she can do the magic teleportation thing. That's not fair. How am I meant to get her? So after all that commotion, it's time to get back to poisoning my minions. Okay, now I think this is the perfect design here. It is a eating bar flanked by the poisonous barrels. It's just such a sight, that's all. I can't get over the sight of it. And the poor Mr. Zola just gets to sit there all day, surrounded by poison. I'm sure it'll be fine. Gotta say, I love the holographic globe here. Not only does it increase our intel and broadcast strength, but it also proves that the Earth is round. Now that looks fairly round to me. We we've had a major problem here. We do love a little bit of gold, all right? But we don't have enough space to store our gold. You see, this is regularly full, and I just want more gold. We can't be stealing gold and then chucking it out. That is a waste of gold, and that is a big no-no in the evil world of our evil world domination plans, I guess. I'm, I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's bad news. And thus, we now have all this space to expand our massive gold vault into. Not only that, though, our scientists have been working very hard and they figured out that if you make your spade slightly stronger, you can dig through harder rock. See? First the staircase, now slightly stronger shovels. They're, they're a real crack bunch, they are. In, in a wild turn of irony, we, we've run out of gold uh, trying to upgrade the gold storage. We're now broke, uh, which is terrific. <laughs> we can't afford our own gold racks. It's not going well. This is a jarring sight, I must admit. And we've got also such a long way to go as well in terms of filling it up. Are, are the mind control and torture machines really meant to have all that lightning coming off them? I feel like that's unsafe. I mean, you know, they're unsafe already, but I feel like they're now more unsafe. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Agent X is back for like, I can't count. That's been like fifth, the fifth time now. He just doesn't, he doesn't die, the man. He doesn't die. Dude just needs to die. Like, I bet he's gonna teleport away again. He's just gonna teleport. Like, what's the point? I don't really see how this affects our world domination plan. He just comes in here, teleports away and you know it's just a normal Saturday afternoon yet again they're all really queuing up to kill this one guy like crikey get jeez oh they're really wanting to ham into the lad and a lot of them died because of it oh my word the amount of dead bodies the dude's so strong why does he teleport away he could kill us all thank goodness I have gritted the incinerators or I don't know what we'd be doing I feel like we've bumped into one of Max's ex-girlfriends because she seems kind of butt hurt but all the late nights they spent together and it would appear he's not very nice to his exes because they're all trying to kill him and investigate him and, and ruin his and our world domination plans which ain't quite ideal for the whole world domination trope here. <laughs> Hold up, there's chatter about a doomsday device coming from this region. Does that mean someone's trying to rival my doomsday device? That is not on. We need to resolve that threat immediately. In fact, they're all over the place. There's multiple threats. Everyone's trying to make a doomsday device. They're everywhere. All these exclamation marks. Oh no. C can they like destroy us if they, if they have their own doomsday device? It's okay. We've dispatched 47 minions to take control of a situation. Definitely not overboard. Speaking of our doomsday device, so I think it's time to fire that thing yet again. Let's go in America this time, why don't we? Make Agent X quake in his boots. Now that does not look in any way like a big bomb. In no way does that look like it's in any way dangerous. Okay, this time it's getting ridiculous. Now he's invisible. Come on. He can teleport, he's invisible. This man ain't any kind of human being. He's a, he's God. How am I meant to fight him? I know I'm evil and all that, but this is just unfair. Oh, we've got Agent X and we've got the saboteur woman. Ah, we've got him this time. He's We'll teleport away again. We're really going up against this ex here. We've got to gather information on her, invite the, some of her board members, and brainwash her for testers. What did Max do to this poor person? I've got a plan to stop all the saboteurs. We have the shark tank, a 45 grand piece of equipment, which makes all of your saboteurs drop into a pit of sharks. How good is that? Let's just play the second shark tank for good measure. Oh, the time has come. We're going to kidnap his ex-girlfriend. Either that or they're gonna marry each other. One or the other. There she is, Tamara Krast. So now it's time to announce her defeat from our impressive desk. This man's really full of himself and his desk, isn't he? Not just his desk, it's his impressively large-sized desk. Yet again, he's speaking to nobody. Who sure does love a sound of his own voice, doesn't he? If you take your mind back to our shark pit, it was a terrific idea at the time. I I mean, it's great. Sharks in your evil bays, what could go wrong? I, I feel like this is one of the problems. They're all stuck behind the sharks. Uh, none of them can, can get past the sharks. 
uh, they're all too scared, they're all watching, and, and I don't really think it's done much. It, it's with great sadness I'm gonna have to delete the shark pit, because they're all gonna die of starvation. They can't get past. They're too scared of the sharks. And as with any real world relationship, the time has come that we have to execute our ex-girlfriend. This guy ain't evil at all. This feels like an especially evil and nasty thing to do. But hey, now we no longer have an ex-girlfriend. I, I feel I feel really bad for the woman, to be very honest. <laughs> well, there she is, made of gold, like all the rest. I guess he's gonna display her proudly in the office now, that's even worse. It's a very weird situation. I guess that's what happens when, you know, you date people who are dead set on world domination. I think we've broken him! I think we've broken Agent X! He's depressed now! He's no longer Agent X, we've hit him enough that he's, he's hit depression. This is it! This is the moment! This is Agent X's last stand! His health is nearly gone, he has the entire higher layers population after him. They're literally lining up to get the guy. We're not allowed to kill him. We have to capture him. That's just unfair. It's taken 25 in-game hours, but we finally have him. We've got him. The man, the myth, the legend. Agent X is, well, I actually broke out of our jail cell, but he'll be in our jail cell. There we go, now he's in jail. Back where he deserves to be. So apparently we have to interrogate Agent X using the laser disco. What's wrong with the good old torture machine like? Here he comes in for a dance off for some reason. Yep, he's, he's having a dance off. That's how we are interrogating the Captain America of Evil Genius 2, by making him dance. And it worked. And now he is but a body bag. Kinda deserved it anyway. He really mucked up our plans. Okay, they've upgraded our doomsday device. It now has the power to bring a country to its knees. Specifically Austria. I don't know, he seems to have taken a thing with Austria. Who knows why? Now that looks like a doomsday weapon and a half, does it not? There's an awful lot going on in there, like. We've found the source of solving the health problems of every minion that we own. And that is the cloning machine. Why repair a current minion when you can just clone a perfectly new one? You can even add more brainwashing while you clone them. Such an efficient process. And no more complaining about feeling bad, ill, or cancerous for some reason. I couldn't possibly think of any reason there might be a cancer epidemic going around. Meanwhile, our, our gold people problem's getting worse. Like, we have an entire vault of the people now. It's kind of a side effect to our work. You can only put so many of them on show before it becomes a bit weird. The political systems failed to recognize our stature, our power, but finally, they will look up to us. Gather politicians from across the world and they will kneel at our feet. It's quite an interesting one. All I need is one big weapon and they just give up all hope. Don't they have like nukes and stuff? I mean, they're always meant to win in the movies, but we're always meant to lose. Are, are we not? Aw, isn't this sweet? Max had a little dream. A dream to rule the world. It's a sweet, beautiful dream. And it's about to come true. Isn't that just terrific for little old Max? So now it's time to execute politicians in the evil lair we have. I don't actually know where I stored the politicians. Maybe it's in one of these body bags. What are my politicians like? So all we need to do is fire the Midas device five times at the five continents of the world, apparently, and we rule the world. It seems unbelievably simple. So there's our first world government defeated. I've found them, I've found my politicians. They've all conveniently gathered around my impressively sized desk. How nice of them, giving us the perfect opportunity to kill them all. It does appear unbelievably easy to rule the world at this point. Would the world's politicians really be that gullible to all gather in an evil man's evil lair all at once? Even I can see the problems in this. So, this is it. This is the moment the entire video has been waiting for. We are about to take over the entire world. All of this. Everything you see here will be ours. We spent 50 hours on the preparation. Everything is as it should be. We have the weapon. We have the people. We have killed everyone who can oppose us. Meaning, it's just us and the world's civilization at our fingertips. The last stand of civilization is here. All against this one single dude, it would appear. I don't know, he's called the Mark II. He's a very explosive robot guard. We now have an onslaught of crime lords trying to prevent us from being the king crime lord of all civilization. It's, it's leaving quite a lot of death and destruction in its path, I must say. I think we have more body bags than we do minions. How is- how does gold burn? Come on, that's not even scientifically possible. Gold can't burn. It's metal. Have we been scammed again? Is this like plastic gold? Oh no. I think our entire gold storage is going up in flames. The entire vault is on fire. Well, uh, there's an awful lot of warning signs around the edges of the screen, you'll see. Um, everything is on fire or exploding, or breaking. 
our ferning. Yep, all the gold's gone. We've lost it all. So all we have to do now is fire the weapon at the five political standings in the entire world. And with one shot of this incredibly powerful weapon, we can turn an entire continent to gold, to solid gold at that. We've taken down the Hammer area. We've taken down the Sabre area. We've turned the entire Anvil province into gold. It is time for the people of the world to rejoice. And with the final impact in three seconds, we have completed the final objective. We have dominated the entire world. It was inevitable from the beginning, and we've destroyed every force of justice in the entire world world. The final country is gone. Wiped from the earth. Frozen in gold forever. There is no force better than us. No force greater than us. No resistance to us. We are all dominating. After all of that, we become the leader of the world. The leader of the not so free world anymore. And maybe just the only one left in this world. And all it took was 60 in-game hours. That was the best and worst 60 hours of my life.